that we clean the cars and so we've had a situation today where we we're cleaning all over the place and you know the FC girls cleaned FC we clean we cleaned the vehicles and and so on and we all helped each other and it was quite entertaining but Kristen I believe you're wondering what bugs we found in the vehicle well in the vehicle not too many funny enough I, I think there was the odd spider there was a violent spider at some point and a brown button spider but they unfortunately were evicted it was time to no longer live in rusty we know how they are they often lay their eggs in the radio and next thing there's baby spiders everywhere and it's just really not ideal so they were evicted and other than that not too much funny enough there was a few dead moths and a couple chafers that were around uh, I think one or two praying mantises that I saw, but that's it. There, it wasn't as bad as I thought they would be and there was definitely no snake or lizard or anything hiding away at all. But there was a massive debacle today and the debacle was that VM unfortunately got a bit abused by the girls in camp. And, and I say this because VM has his, his bathroom that he uses and you know, he's, uh, we were talking about the other day how he's got his pet frog at the moment that has just arrived out of nowhere and decides that VM's little laundry bag is where it needs to, or his toiletry bag is where it needs to sit and it, and it watches over as security over his toothpaste and his deodorant and his shaving cream and all kinds of other things. And if anybody comes to grab it, then it just kind of comes out and gives them a fright. And Megan learned the hard way today because she was trying to clean up in the bathrooms and kind of with Jerry and she went and she tried to grab VM's toiletries to throw them away and the frog came out and there was screaming and Megan running out shouting and screaming that there was a frog and that led to hysterical bouts of laughter from myself and Jerry as we watched Megan sort of trampling around all over the place so then VM wasn't around and, and then they went and they started throwing a lot of VM's toiletries away some of his older toiletries and so VM then was I had to quickly call in reinforcements to try and get VM's stuff saved because as much as I pleaded that his stuff was there and that we must leave it all alone they were throwing it away and VM came and he then saved all of his things which is very very good yeah they even they even threw your bar of soap away VM I know it's dis disrespectful I tell you and then Jared came and removed the frog and said where is he going to take it and VM quickly put a stop to all of this he managed to get his soap back his frog is now back where it wants to be because VM says he's moved the frog but the frog keeps coming back so the frog is back where it wants to be as protector of the toiletries in the bathroom and well <laughs> hysterics were pretty much the order of the morning I like I say I was absolutely dying with laughter at the it was something out of a scene out of Faulty Towers so for those of you who know Faulty Towers you'll understand what I'm talking about but we did giggle and laugh about it and so then we proceeded to get to lunch and lunch became a rather funny affair too I wasn't actually there but I got told all about it later and, and so this after, well, for lunch we had little mini pizzas and they were made with sun-dried, I'll call them deconstructed mini pizzas. They were made with sort of sun-dried tomatoes and feta and herbs and all kinds of other things. And so VM says to Megan, it's my second favorite day. And so Megan looks at him puzzling and says, well, what is your first favorite day if mini pizzas is your second favorite day? And VM said to him, said to her apparently with a very blank expression, Christmas. And so apparently VM Christmas is your favorite day? Yes? No, well, VM is smiling. Which one? Mini pizza day? No, no. It depends. Which Leopard Day. Leopard Day does beat Christmas Day, so VM saying Leopard Day and Christmas Day are his two favorite days. But anyway, many pizzas is his favorite. But then all of this fell apart completely because VM doesn't really like fancy cheese. VM, is that the right word? Fancy cheese. Yes, fancy cheese. Exotic cheese. So VM doesn't like exotic cheese, which apparently fit is in on the exotic cheese list. It's almost like a banned animal trade. You cannot put feta on his mini pizza and so VM had to kind of rework his pizzas and remake them but he's all happy now and his smiles he's had his mini pizza he's seen some elephants now I've got to just find him a leopard and I think I will have made VM's day complete and so it's been an entertaining day but I I can't actually stop laughing at the thought of that bathroom scenario because at one point I was hidden in one bathroom crying with laughter as VM was trying to rescue his frog and his soap because he was being attacked from all sides by Megan and Jerry and Jared and there was just absolute laughter kind of breaking out everywhere. Jerry I think was also in tears with me and 
and I <laughs> and so because of this whole thing that was going on where people were throwing things away it was toiletries from everybody else and so I decided that it was the perfect time to play the thrift shop song and so those of you who don't know the thrift shop song it's this kind of upbeat tune about the thrift shop and it just was something out of that scene as everybody was trying to scramble to kind of save their goods and also go and harvest the goods of others who have left their things behind so it was just a ridiculous scene but one that I won't forget in a while I did have a good chuckle today it was very very funny